Hi, everybody. I'm Sherry hudson Passy from the Slick Committee, and I have got the wonderful Karen Stanberry with me, and she yeah. is going to talk about proving your pedigree with DNA. Oh, my goodness. You have got the most wonderful DNA courses, <laughs> and this is one of them. So I want you to talk to me a little bit about it. Who, who is this course for? So I designed this course um, to make it an intermediate level course, a DNA course, but with hands on, because when I took beginning DNA courses and I was ready to go into that intermediate level, I found that I had a really hard time applying the knowledge that I had learned about DNA inheritance patterns and tools and techniques and all of that jazz to my mm -hmm. own work. And, and and so this is a hands-on course that you use your own family to mm -hmm. practice fundamental autosomal DNA skills, analysis skills. So what I'm asking people to do is to pick an ancestral line, um, preferably an ancestral line that doesn't have pedigree collapse and endogamy <laughs> or not the one that has your worst, most terrible, most insurmountable brick wall problem. That's not the line you want to pick for this okay. course, but pick a line that's pretty well documented that you know well. And the challenge, your mission, each student's mission, should they choose to accept it, <laughs> is to prove that their paper trail research is consistent with the DNA. Because we all know that, um, misattributed parentage or unknown parentage, well, really misattributed parentage happens more often than we used to think it did. Mm -hmm. And so to me, um, I find it comforting to learn how to prove that my paper trail is consistent with my um, doc with my genetic evidence, with my mm -hmm. match list. So I'm teaching students how to take that line and, and, and write write proof arguments that document that 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 in each generation that the what the paper trail evidence is and how it's integrated with the DNA evidence and how it proves that biological relationship conclusion for each generation back to the second great grandparents. And so the emphasis is on writing because in my opinion genealogy doesn't mean anything if you don't know how to write it up, if you don't write with sentences and with nouns and verbs and, <laughs> and explain your evidence and explain your reasoning because you know what lucid charts do, do, does not communicate reasoning and so we're going to write in paragraph styles and you're going to create this family history this family history is for each student their own family line and it's an organic living document when you complete the course you can continue to add to it you can, yeah. can you can go back in and you can add that you can make all of your proof arguments appendices and then you can go back in and add the narrative the stories of your ancestors yeah. and 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 give that as as gifts to your family and leave oh, it as a legacy, legacy for your yeah. family so it provides the structure the um we teach the format to write a traditional kind of kinship determination compiled genealogy format with full source citations with child lists with uh, with the structure that you can just continue to go in and add to as you leave the class I do these kinds of reports for myself for every one of my ancestral lines, and I encourage everybody to do that. Um, it's so much more. Uh, it's such a such a it's something that you leave your family because you know what your family isn't going to read your roots magic chart. No, right. No. They're not going to go in and look at your software. They're going to close your ancestry account. Mm -hmm. So this is something that you can print out and leave on your bookshelf for your family and gives it give its gifts and at the same time create written work documented compiled genealogy about biological relationship conclusions for your family that meets genealogy standards that's the point i love it i love it <laughs> it sounds amazing now you're not teaching this whole class by yourself <laughs> you no, call I'm not. I have some. I have, no, no. I, I have some people that are helping me. Angela Packer McGee comes in and helps. She's got some good case examples. We all have good case examples mm -hmm. of this so that students have the opportunity to see how different practitioners have created these documents for themselves and their families. So Angela um, teaches uh, the formatting and shows an example with one of her lines. Nicole Dyer comes in and talks about how it is she or organizes her matches to start out with an air table. I show a way to do it in a simple Excel or Word document and Nicole shows how to do it in air table because 
people's brains respond to, to different yes. systems. You know? So you pick the system that you want. You have to organize your matches and filter and sort them to be able to do this task. So we give you some different approaches about that. Jen Zing comes in and talks about, um, uh, gives some hands-on techniques about communicating with living people, how to find the living people, how to, how to, we all struggle with how to document them the trees of some of our matches that don't have trees posted online or how to get them to respond to us mm -hmm. to, to help us to collaborate with us on this. And then, you know, we have faculty, we choose from a, a group of, of really good experts of faculty that come in and help you um, where you have one-on-one -on -one consultation time with faculty. Uh -huh. And those that can be with Angela or me or Paul Woodbury or Tom Jones or Rebecca Coford or Nicole or Jen Zink. I mean, we have we have lots of people available that will provide one-to-one -one faculty consultation time, depending on how big the class is. So I'm super excited about the course. It uh, People like that they walk away with something that's that, that they've applied the skill right. set to. And yes. It's about their own families. Yes. What a wonderful course. What a wonderful, wonderful course. And I'm so glad that you came to talk to me about it today. I know that people are going to gain so much. I have heard so many wonderful things about this course. Every every time you teach it and it ends, everybody, everybody always says what a wonderful, wonderful course it is. And how grateful they are that they took it. So, Well, the other thing is if you learn the skill set, the methodology yeah. on an easier question, on an easier line, then you can apply those yeah. skills to your advanced, you know, to your more complicated problems. So then you, you can face those complicated problems, add in some additional techniques and stuff, but then you'll know what the fundamentals are so that you'll be able to build on that to do more advanced skills. Exactly. Exactly. So if you want to know more about this course and how to sign up, just go to the SLIG uh, registration page and get signed up and take this amazing course that Karen is offering. And uh, thank you, Karen, for coming and talking to us about Proving your pedigree with DNA. And I wish you well this course and, and everybody that takes it. Um, I know that they're going to learn so much and they'll be so glad that they did. And we will see you next time as we talk about another uh, course that SLIG is offering. Bye, everybody. My pleasure.